And she says she's not cheating, it's just words and photos. But she says this is all my fault for spying. What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's feeling good. Hope everybody's doing well. We are back with another story post. Guys, I'll put this up on the screen for you guys to check it out. Oh man. But you guys read the title? Let's just get into it. So, busted my wife sexting another man. But it's my fault. Advice. Wow. Sounds like gaslighting. My wife and I have been together for seven years. Married for four years. She has never been much a sexual person, really reserved. Raised Catholic, doesn't curse, and was a virgin until we were married. I recently busted her sexting another man. Someone we both know and hang out with. I had suspicions about them, the way they would act together. I had the chance and I snooped on her phone and found the messages. And photos. She's been sending him. She was talking to him in ways I never heard her speak before. Then she busted me on her phone. And she says she's not cheating, it's just words and photos. But she says this is all my fault for spying. She told me I have to rebuild her trust in me. Also she said she will continue to text and hang out with this guy and what they do or text is none of my business. I think her recent weight loss of 60 pounds is giving her the confidence to experience other men outside of our marriage. Did I continue with this marriage like nothing happened or suggest we go to marriage counseling? Something else she told me after I confronted her about what she was doing. She told me all the sexual things they had been doing together and he was building up her sexual confidence. But a few days later, she told me that was a test and she really didn't do anything with him. And I should be ashamed to think she would cheat on me. Wow. Your wife is childish. And she's lying, by the way. She slept with him. But the text messages and nude photos, that's irrelevant, she said. Was I in the wrong or was she? She's cheating and I'm the one in trouble for catching her. Wow. Let me give my thoughts. Wow, sir, how old are you? How, what? Did you give her a All right, look. I've been, I've been stupid before. I've done things where someone would say, uh, duh, leave, uh, duh, yeah, she's cheating. So, <sighs> sir, yeah, she's cheating on you. She's cheated before. It is because she lost a lot of weight. She's feeling more confident. Um, she's... She probably was not a virgin when you met. Uh, everything's just a lie. I'm going to tell you the truth here. She, everything's probably a lie. Um, she's not the woman you thought she was. She's not. It's time to move on. There's no way you stay married to this woman. I don't know if you guys have children, but you, you got to get out of there. You got to get out of this situation. She, I can't. You said she told you I'm going to keep talking to him. What we talk about is none of your business. What? That's when you say, okay, and you go get a lawyer and you file for a divorce, man. <sighs> I want to see if he's in the comments. I got to see if he's in the comments. Someone said, she is gaslighting the F out of you, bro. It's not your fault. Cheaters cheat because they feel entitled to cheat. Serve her papers and tell her to move out. See, there's gaslighting going on there. Oh my gosh. This was tough to read. It truly was. I'm not going to lie. This one was tough. I'm trying to see if he's in here. Someone said, dude, EA is foreplay before PA in most cases. Though with the texting, if it's only texting without actual dates, it's just an indicator that PA would happen if there would be proper circumstances, hotel room, party, etc. Someone said, it is 100% a physical affair. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's been with him physically. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Guys, uh, let me know what you think about this in the comments. Wow. Um, if you're new here, I'm going to go ahead and attach a flashback story. With that being said, catch you guys at the next one.
Subject. Your video should be a PSA for taking back a cheater. <laughs> and I know when I do those stories, a lot of those stories, um, a lot of those stories will be guys who do, they say they'll take a cheater back and then they realize how they effed up. Um, is or there's an update to where, yeah, I left because I thought taking her back was a good idea. And hey, you guys have to understand that's majority of people, a majority of people will do that. Um, but yeah, salute to you. So let's check out his story. He starts off with, Good morning, man. Not sure I could summarize this all in one video. I would do my best to cliff note it. I tripped across your channel looking for answers like most men do in my position. Two years ago, my wife had an affair that started over Christmas as an emotional affair. We were married for 12 years with kids. Two of them were from her previous relationship. I was in Florida with our daughter on vacation when it became sexual in our own home with a mutual friend. Drugs, alcohol, lies, family six members hiding it. Wow. Everything you could imagine. All this while we were in marriage counseling. Involved a PI and I had to witness some pretty jarring things that I still have nightmares about. The worst was her performing on him for drugs in a parking lot with a dealer. Our marriage was rocky for some time after family related problems. I had a fair amount of guilt. After several months of slamming the door in her face. She was asking if we could start over. I agreed, and that was one of the biggest mistakes I have ever made. Things went well for several months. We went through the holidays, and I felt like this could be repairable, even though I had never received an apology. Real remorse was constantly blamed for the affair, and she continued to deny it was as involved as it was. The therapist said that this was normal and to give both of us time and she would come around. That the bad behavior and lack of accountability was a defense mechanism. COVID came around and although I was starting to see old familiar drug related friends around, she was working again and we are doing well. As soon as the pandemic restrictions lifted, the gloves really came off. The manipulation, gaslighting, lies, disappearing, etc. We entered back into couples therapy to see if things could be resolved. Our relationship became progressively worse heading towards the holidays in 2020. December of 2020, she finally admitted to the affair and gave a backhanded apology. After this, she rarely came home again, maybe two days in a two month period. I was at home with the kids while she ran around the town. At this point, I had already hired a PI. The evidence was as bad as you could expect. She was sleeping with a mutual friend and back on drugs. Literally all of our so-called friend circle was masking the affair for their own benefit. They all drank and did drugs heavily and I was the outcast at this point. Wow. She came back into the house trying to enter counseling again. Unknowingly to her, I was already checked out mentally and just gathering evidence for divorce. She still played like she was so in love with me, but I knew better. As the PI kept following the evidence got worse. She was now sleeping with a good friend that lived six homes away in the same neighborhood. Definitely had to keep my eyes on the prize and keep my children safe. All of this once again while I am working six days a week and we are in therapy to repair the financial and emotional mess she made. The sad part came in the end after I filed for divorce from bed and board North Carolina. Her and the AP went full speed, and that day she was served and kicked out. They were right there together. They are moving into his home on the same street as me. As terrible as this all is, that's not the half of it. I found out through discovery she was never faithful. I was the second option from the start for a boyfriend that ghosted her before we started dating. She cheated on him and he dropped her. I found out she had no less than seven affairs during our marriage, and that's just the ones I can count. Her sister, who I was close with, lied to me and actually helped her have the affair the entire time. Our entire relationship was basically a lie with tons of manipulation, blame shifting, and gaslighting. I now know I was stuck in a toxic relationship with someone who was diagnosed as a BPD. 
The gift was, in the end, and done by her being so comfortable that I would just let her walk on me. I had broken out of a toxic relationship and was able to plan the exit with support from a therapist, lawyer, and couple good friends. I ended up getting out of the marriage without having to pay a single dime with my business and with sole custody of my kid. She literally was only allowed her clothes and personal items. She's tried her best to smear me across town with every imaginable lie. The AP who she moved in with has his home now in foreclosure from the financial strain of being a simp and paying her divorce lifestyle from me. She is no longer allowed to contact me or come anywhere near me. The lawyer and I are contemplating a suit for alienation of affection allowed in my state just to drive the point home. I try my best not to be vengeful, but with her, it's well deserved. Back to the point. I hear guys in your videos actually contemplating forgiveness. Having made that mistake, your video should be handed out at weddings, lol. If she cheats, leave her. You are not her first choice and never will be. You cannot repair the marriage and will ultimately fail within a few years, statistically. If she comes back, it's only because she's out of options. Go no contact and let the cheater lay in the bed they made. Best wishes, Alex. Wow. Man, salute. Let me give my thoughts. Man, you are absolutely right. You are right. Um, You're not her first choice. When she cheats on you, she's showing you she has no respect for you. You know, and a lot of times, a lot of signs are thrown at you before she actually steps out. You know, but a lot of guys do ignore red flags. But in this case, man, so she was on drugs heavy and drinking. and These group, groups of friends, so I'm guessing like, you you all were part of that lifestyle at one point and did you like get out of it and you know she she stayed in it and it's just man it's just a big big mess um and having the pi catch her you know performing these acts on men for for her fix crazy wild man um and this is another story and, and i'm glad you learned from it you're saying look i took the woman back i was an idiot and i realized it wasn't going to change her she only it got worse that's typically what happens you cannot take someone back who cheated on you they're just not gonna respect you at all <laughs> you're wasting your time just, just don't whether you're married to them it's just the girlfriend boyfriend thing it doesn't matter they're not gonna respect you salute to you man i'm glad you're doing well i hope you're doing well um fixing to do a alienation of affection contemplating a suit man wow uh go ahead and update us let us know how that goes you know we i'd, I'd like to know um but thanks for sending in your story because just like you said man you said you found my channel because you went out looking for answers, right? Dude, that's how I found a lot of people's channels that helped me. Before it was a uh, it was in 2018, coming up on at the, coming up to coming up at the end of the year of 2018, I was going through it with someone. It was bad, man. It was bad and I'm just going online and I'm, I'm listening to people. Uh, I, at first I was reading a lot of stories, right? And I didn't realize at the time that I was always, always I was going to Reddit. Um, but I would Google, you know, questions and I would go to, it, it would take me to the site. Um, I think it was like questions and answers or something like that. And I would just read people talking about, yeah, I've been through that. Yeah, I've been through this. And a lot of times I would end up on Reddit and then until I started doing videos, when I did like my first Reddit story, I said, man, this interface looks familiar. This page looks, this fake, this page looks very familiar. Oh, this is the page I used to go to when I wanted answers. You know, I wanted to read about people going through the same thing. And I used to read stories all the time. Just before, before I got on YouTube and started telling my own story and I would tell my own story. And then people started telling their stories in the comments. 
and I said, hey, send an email and I'll tell you guys the story too. And it turned and I started doing articles and Reddit posts and all that stuff. So, but man, like, um, we, a lot of us do stumble upon channels. I've subscribed to channels because I was looking for answers before before 2018 i i have not i never heard of gaslighting i can be honest and tell you i never heard of that but then i'm listening to someone talk about it on youtube and i'm like that's exactly what she was doing yeah she did that i i forgave her and, and it got worse you know i started like seeing that other people were going through the same things and when you see that you're not alone it gives you this sense of comfort like it makes you feel good you're like yeah I, I, it sucks that other people are going through this because i'm hurt and i know that person's person is hurt but let me see if i can reach out to this person and and talk to them about it like how'd you get through it let me hear their story you know i i forgave her you know um after she destroyed me again after forgiving her focus on myself and i leveled up you know um and people going into details like it hurt it hurt going leaving walking away because you wanted the marriage to work you wanted the that six plus year relationship to work and last but you have but you have to realize there's nothing you can do when the other person is done they're done and you just got to put your hands up and walk away and care more about yourself care more about yourself if someone's telling you i don't care about you you should be like okay you should get you should be able to you got to work up to that point to where you're like okay you don't care about me all right and you walk away and um you got yourself you care about yourself more anyway it doesn't matter you don't need anyone to tell you that you're great or you're this or you're that i know i know what i am work towards your purpose work out start a business focus on your career whatever it is motivational speaker a welder engineer whatever you're doing become better at it become great you want to go back to school go to school you want to go learn a trade go learn a trade you know focus on you what makes you happy having someone stand there and and, and tell you like oh you're the best person ever or you're this and you're that or you know that shouldn't be the end all be all you know it starts with you you got to look in the mirror and be very comfortable with yourself. So hearing these stories and everybody hearing each other's stories, man, it's, it's just very helpful. And uh, thanks for sending in this story. I really appreciate it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and check out another email. OK, I remember you. I think I've read a couple of your stories in the past. And it looks like I might have missed this one. Yeah, it looks like I might have missed this one. OK. Subject are you kidding me hey true i swear this just happened five minutes ago I had to share i have been separated from my second ex ex-wife from for two years already i am very happily living alone well with my dog anyway i am studying hard in my classes for my master's degree i was just finishing up my online teams class when my second ex-wife just called me oh great she tries to create small talk with me tells me she's in florida I cut her off and I told her, what could you possibly want from me now? She started sniffling and crying that her husband that she divorced me for just left her on the side of the road. She's cold, hungry, and had no one else to call. She said, you owe me nothing, but I need help. Can you forward some money to me? Once I get a motel room, we can talk about getting back together. Oh no, nope. Mm -mm. I started laughing. I told her you left me, a man who tried to help you every way I could, for your new husband. And now he got fed up with you and left you all alone. And thinking I was going to support you, you summon up alligator tears and fake begging to send you money until you find someone else? I don't think so. She got upset. I called you because I need help. You were always there for me. I couldn't help but smile when I told her this. I was, but you left me. And now you are wasting my valuable time trying to manipulate me again. Not happening. Goodbye. I hung up on her, put my phone on do not disturb, re reported her emails to me as spam, and just changed every possible password I had for everything. 
to make sure she has no idea what they possibly could be. I honestly feel great. I now know I've taken back my life. My life is my own. Keep up the great work, True. Wow. <laughs> nice, man. Nice. Let me give my thoughts on this. Salute to you, man. Uh, <laughs> I, man, I missed this one. So I actually read, I, I think it might have been the last email I did. I read yours and it was the date was after this one and this one I hadn't even opened yet. So I, I missed this, man. Salute to you. Yeah, I, I remember you are in school and you're trying to, uh, you're getting your master's and everything. So she tried to come back. Yeah, you didn't let her in. Salute to you. This is how you got to do it because you know, you know. Think about it. What'd she say? She said, I called you because I need help. You were always there for me. She knows who to call and you're not that guy anymore. You, 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 you came, you become a different person. You become a better person. Let's say that you become a better person and she doesn't like that. You did the right thing, blocking her, getting rid of her emails, reporting it as spam. Salute to you. You are the man. She tried, she tried to leave you for someone better. It didn't work out. That's her fault. She has to eat it now. She made her bed, now lie in it. Salute to you, man. Thanks for sending in this email. I, I'm glad to see you're staying on your purpose and you're doing your thing, man. Salute to you. Um, Like I said, guys, I'm going to be jumping on some other stories. I've been seeing a lot of stories coming in through the email. If you guys want to send in a story, send it to truestorynation at gmail.com. Here, I'll put it on the screen. That's truestorynation at gmail.com. And I'll catch you guys at the next one.